Shiny lights and purple sky Everything so bright 기다려왔어 지금이야 Turn off your phone and off your mind Look at you so bright 멈출 수 없어 지금이야 Oh I'll take you to the moon Come on up and enjoy your ride A few weeks ago we had a big milestone in the studio upgrade We put the windows in I tried to fix our laundry room situation where I gathered all my studio stuff and it's just getting out of control and plus all the dust and moist in this room it doesn't have the situation so I wanna reset this area and the way to do that because it was very overwhelming I just gathered all the supplies that I need for shipping and all this main things that I need to do right now so I'm going to leave the creation to the time when the studio is done because simply I just I don't have the place for that to do that I also started to gather some of the items that I want to declutter so I'm working on those piles as well considering what to keep and what to get rid of And as I am cleaning out this room, I'm also getting done some laundry as well. Call me, tell me I'm alive. Pull me, fill me up inside here. In the silence of the space we all Today is a new day and I'm going to keep continue working on the decluttering and organizing process but as usual as I'm starting the day I'm starting out with making some breakfast and fixing some lunch this waffle is a banana waffle. I use two eggs and one banana ratio. I added some rice flour as well so that way it's gluten free. Today's lunch that I'm going to pack, it's a very easy one. I just used two chicken breasts and I put a lot of lots of spice on it and some dried mushrooms. I've been looking for a box for the utensils in the lunch bag and finally I find some on Amazon and I like this one better than using a bag because it's easier to clean and it came with all the utensils. So I purchased those and it's gonna be a neat uh, addition to 
packing the lunch because um, all fork and spoon and such we're just scattering around in the bag. Lovers, cause under the covers, baby, you're showing me how we feel us. No one can hear us. You're throwing the pillars through the floor. Now put your loving, loving, loving on me. There is a life I lead in this city Where did the beautiful spring weather go? <laughs> I'm starting the reset in the home. I don't know if it's out of procrastination, so I don't have to do the declutter until I finish this one. <laughs> or I'm just uh, really just wanna keep up with that it's an already existing working system. So I'm going to fix the bed, pick up the bathroom and then the closet a little bit and then tidy up the rest of the house. Sometimes it's hard to start but once I'm on the roll it is easier to do and even more it's hard to stop. I have a little bit of a breakfast in the morning with the rest of the family but I like to eat a big hearty breakfast after everybody has left <laughs> so as I'm cleaning up the kitchen I'm starting to fix uh, some type of food that I really like and that is uh, usually some rice or meat and mushrooms and such stir fry Most of the time when I clean the kitchen I start to cook or the other way around when I start to cook I am continuing with cleaning up the kitchen. <laughs> it always goes hand in hand. In the latest studies they find that when we work with our hands we are happier, healthier, stronger and full of energy than when we confined. It really applies to me because every time when I do art or just do housework or gardening everything that I do with hands it's just really something with that that's um, helping me to get even more active so I start my morning being active the rest of the day will be more productive So why do we enjoy working with our hands? It is satisfaction of creativity, making and fixing things feels good and there's just something about building or changing something into a different form with our hands that gives a sense of accomplishment and joy. The results are there for you and everyone has to see and you can take the pride in the work. After cooking and frying the kitchen countertop and cooktop gets very greasy and I like to use a dish soap to clean it up. 
It is very effective and it's non-toxic instead of using the cleaning bottle no matter how strong cleaner it is in there I have to use it multiple times but with this method I just only have to clean it once and to give an extra polish to the glassy surface I like to use my water vinegar mixture and just use a dry tablecloth for that and that will make a sparkly kitchen Since I'm on the roll, I'm going to grab the vacuum cleaner and just run through the floor with that. And I also am going to mop the floor as well. I like to drop some essential oil on the floor so not into the mop because it can ruin where it distributes the water. So I just drop it on the floor and it just fills up the whole house with this nice beautiful scent. Back to this chaotic area, <laughs> I'm going to wrap some of the orders and then I'm going to continue working on going through the things and deciding on what I want to keep out in an easy reach spot and what I have to box up for the moving day because yes, I'm already counting on that when I'm going to moving in my stuff to the studio. If you give me one So meanwhile this is not the most efficient setup that I have for this work but it is works for me better that way as the moving day approaching because I can start to focus on how I'm going to organize things over there what are those things that I really need on the daily basis as I'm creating the stations so there's a lot of mental work that goes into organizing and decluttering but Whenever I'm dealing with an overwhelming amount, I like to switch the focus from what to declutter to what to keep. So that's an easier solution and that's what I'm doing now. I'm just focusing on what I need on the daily basis and I will consider the rest of them later and in step by step. Chance, I swear I'll try my best to always be there And I want you to
I have lots of different markers for different purposes so I'm going to comb through those what are the ones that I dried out and what are the ones that I want to keep as for the lunch break I have this delicious Hungarian summer food it's called the lecho and it's mainly just pepper and tomatoes and onion and I'm going to pour some eggs over it it is really really a delicious food as it's warm and if you put it into the refrigerator it's really just as good as when it's cold but I prefer it when it's hot and even further I like to put some hot pepper on it The most dragged pile ever that I, I need to go through. That would be the paper clutter. And in the last couple of months, as I got busy with my artwork, it was harder to stay on top of it. Plus, I'm making a lots of notes and ideas for my videos. So that big giant pile that I just put down, this is <laughs> the pile where I just gathered my ideas. So I'm gonna go through and I have these boxes from Ikea. These are perfect sizes to store and separate uh, paper-like items. And I can put, in one of them I like to put receipts. And all these papers, I'm going to create two piles. One will be I need to file. And then the other pile will be what I need to process. That means I need to do something with that. I need to write it down. I need to pay or something. And this is the two basic pile that can make the paper clutter separation a little bit easier. Just to focus on those two types of papers one of them is the one that needs to be filed the other one that is requiring action i am very thankful for you to watch this video thank you so much for all the orders as well i appreciate you so much and i will see you soon in the next video